Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Um, so wanted to start off with the with the um, saying of the uh, Prophet Jesus and Prophet Muhammad that we shared at the beginning about the neighbor. Uh, in another narration, uh, the answer to who's my neighbor uh, was given as um, that seventy houses in each direction. And 70 in Arabic basically uh, in, in, is interpreted as there's no count. Okay. So, uh, so everybody is a neighbor uh, who shares this world with us. Um, so I was asked to give an overview of the growth of the Muslim community in Delaware. Uh, Muslims have always been here, uh, you know, even from the uh, times of the Swedes. You know, the first uh, ships that came in, uh, there were uh, black Muslims on those ships. And in more recent history, uh, 1953, uh, and, uh, Imam Umar can correct me, nine, 1953 is when the first mosque uh, in Delaware uh, opened its door called Masjid al Kautar. Uh, the masjid is still, uh, uh, you know, open. And it's one of the one of the few one of the um, largest Islamic centers in the state of Delaware. Um, the second uh, important, um, the third, you know, after the the original uh, Swedes Muslims coming with the Swedes on Swede ships, and then 1953 with the Nation of Islam, uh, then the third important event happened with the. Uh, with the new immigrants coming in in the in the 50s and 60s uh, from Muslim countries, and that led to the formation of an organization called Islamic Society of Delaware. And I have a couple of rep couple of original founders uh, right here, Dr. Salim Khan. And his, his wife, uh, Sabira Khan. <laughs> and my adopted uncle, Uncle Tufel Chaudhary. Um, so, so they were behind that the third wave of, of Muslim community uh, finding home and refuge in Delaware. Um, they've been here uh, for over 40 years. Um, you know, uh, some may have a little more, some a little less, uh, but that was the third important uh, wave. More recent wave has been not that old, actually, within the last 10 years. The Muslim community has seen a tremendous amount of growth in Delaware. Uh, in 2009, uh, my family moved into Delaware. Uh, we came from North Carolina, and uh, my wife, um, who uh, who has a, a doctorate in education from the University of North Carolina, she decided to open a school, an Islamic school, uh, in Newark, Delaware. And that school has become a magnet for a lot of um, uh, migration to Delaware for Muslim community. Uh, not a lot of Islamic schools, you know, especially you know the ones that have a have a a good understanding of what does it mean to be American Muslims, and what does it mean, what does it take to create the next generation of Muslim Americans. Uh, you know, not a lot of those exist. Uh, so as people hear about it, people start to move. Another important step that happened was as with the, with the formation. Even before the school, there was always an effort to form an Islamic school. But uh, more like Sunday schools that we have, you know, even in churches, uh, those types of schools started, you know, because a few motivated people who really wanted to make a difference. They did an effort. After three, four years, you know, the steam runs out. They get tired. Others, you know. Some people may not be happy, so they feel discouraged, right? <laughs> would, you, would you guess that I'm talking about an Islamic school? <laughs> um, 
the stream runs out, feel discouraged, and they say, okay, you know, I'm done, I've done my part, somebody else needs to take a baton. And then, you know, three, four years later, another group of uh, people will start another Islamic school, and that had been happening for, you know, uh, since, the, since the mid 90s. In 2009, uh, when uh, my wife, Dr. Amna Latif, she started the school, that also created another, um, uh, you know, uh, a kind of uh, uh, motivation for, for people who had already been doing schools that they also needed to get their act together and then all of a sudden there were two Islamic schools. You know, on one side there were there was not even a single consistent school, but then on the other hand there were there there were two Islamic schools. So in 2010, uh, another Islamic school opened, and because of these two schools, the community has benefited significantly. Uh, it has increased the offering. It has in, it has fulfilled the needs of the of the community. The children going to these Islamic schools, they are they are very confident of their Muslim identity and they're very confident of their American identity. They don't have any confusion. Uh, not to say that kids who did not go to uh, an Islamic school would have a confusion. I mean, they have done a tremendous job and you have seen those four children. Those are examples of the kids who did not have an opportunity to go, in and go to an Islamic school and, and they are doing very well, aren't they? Thank you. <clears throat> um, so, uh, it's, so starting 2000, um, uh, 2006, 2007, more Islamic centers started to open. Uh, right now in Newark area alone, within a four or five mile radius, we have four uh, Islamic centers. Uh, one, of course, in the, in, in the city of Newark, uh, the oldest one would be the Islamic Society of Delaware. Uh, but now we have um, Masjid Isa uh, ibn Maryam. Masjid Isa basically means Mosque of Jesus. Um, the son of Mary, uh, that's the name of the mosque. The uh, other two mosques, one is called Delaware Islamic Center. Uh, Delaware Islamic Center is uh, in Newcastle, um, uh, close to Newcastle Walmart. And we have, uh, yeah, we have uh, president of that mosque right here, uh, Brother Mustafa Tunjer. Um, and the fourth uh, mosque is called Glasgow Mosque. So these are, these are all just in uh, Newark area, you know, surrounding area. Then in, in the city of Wilmington, of course, the oldest mosque, uh, Delaware's oldest mosque, uh, Masjid al Um uh, In addition to that, there are two other mosques. Um, uh, one of them has recently opened up in the last two, three years. Uh, there, there is a very new uh, Islamic center. It's more Shia, uh, you know, sect of Islam. But most of the other ones, they are primarily, uh, you know, Sunni uh, mosques. Um, <clears throat> so, in our count, Delaware Council's count, we count about 12 mosques across the state. So, eight of them just in Newcastle County. Uh, the remaining four down south, uh, you know. Uh, we have plenty of other mosques. Uh, the Muslim community, uh, if you go to one of the Eid prayers, um, you know, you'll see uh, according to some counts, and I don't have a, uh, an official confirmation on that, but people would, would claim, you know, six to 7,000 uh, Muslims coming to the, the um, Eid prayer. Uh, the next Eid prayer is going to be on September 13th, the same day as the primary elections. Uh, in the morning, so hopefully we'll have a better turnout because uh, people should be able to go back and do their votes. Uh, so with that, I give it back to Dr. Khan. <laughs>